welcome to my channel Emma Jane's Garden. Today is, oh it's quite an exciting day actually. Um, I've got a few bouquets to make up this morning, some people are coming to pick them up later and then something really exciting is happening is I'm collecting some more chickens because um, you never have enough chickens. Um, but these ones are actually rescue hens um, so I'm going to rescue them. They've been um, commercial laying hens um, and they've been really lucky hens actually because they've come from a free range barn um, but yeah they're looking for new homes so I'm going to go and collect a couple of those later on so I'm quite excited about that but first things first is I need to get some bouquets made um, so that they're all done because I don't know how long it's going to take me to go and get the birds and I will obviously take you with me to go and see the birds right let's get on with this Okay, I know I've just done a bouquet video and lots of you lovely people have watched it, um, but as I'm going to get the chickens today, I wanted to video that, so I thought why not just show you a bit of a quick video on making one of my bouquets that I've got to make for today. So this is a subscription bouquet, so this is a lady that has a bouquet each month and she set her price on what she wants to spend each month. So um, this is going to be a bouquet made especially for her. Um, I've got lots of, um, you probably can't see it down there actually, I've got lots of lovely seasonal um, blooms here um, and I picked these unfortunately in the rain last night but they're actually looking great. I was a little bit concerned that they weren't going to look too good this morning um, and that doesn't matter, I've got lots more down there I can go and pick but I was just a bit concerned. I went down and picked yesterday and I got rained on and I didn't realise it was going to rain when I got there. So I've got some lovely, I'm just moving this around because the smell is amazing. It's um, rosemary, it smells so good. Right, so I'm going to quickly do this. I'm going to lay up what I'm going to be using um, and I've got some gorgeous Rebecca. This is the first of my Rebecca as well. Um, so this lady's going to have the very first ones. I've also got some of my gorgeous um, sunflowers. So it's going to be kind of a late, kind of, I suppose it's, it is really is a late, um, where are we? Yeah, so I suppose it really is a late um, summer bouquet. So um, we're just in the transition it feels. Although we shouldn't be because everything was so far behind because of the spring that we had, um, being so cold here in the UK that I was, I'm quite surprised actually, there seems to be, it seems to be going autumnal really quickly um, and I'm hoping it doesn't because last year I had flowers through into sort of the middle of October and I want to have that again. I have bought chrysanthemums and a few other things this year so hopefully that might pull my season out even in early November, fingers crossed. Right, let's lay this all out. Um, so I've got gorgeous dahlia, this one beautiful pink um, and I've got this lovely orange I think this is going to go lovely with the sunflowers and stuff so I've got the oranges here um, and then I've got some I love purple and yellows together I think it's absolutely beautiful so I've got lots and lots of the verbena I love that I just think it's I don't know what it is about that combination, but I just think it just looks lovely. Um, and then, oh, look at this. This is, so this sunflower is called Vanilla Ice. She's lovely. Um, slightly smaller one. Um, oh, and I've got another lovely Dahlia. This is gorgeous little one. Little white one. And I'm not telling you the names because I've completely forgotten them. Um, I've got Dorcas, or oh, like this. Oh, and look, look at this beautiful Rebecca. Absolutely, it's uh, Sahara. Absolutely stunning. And that's my first um, Rebecca as well from those ones. Um, so Dorcas. What else can we put in this one? Um, no bouquet at the moment is better than when it's got some bean few in it. I just love the bean few. It's kind of my favourite flower at the moment. Some um, raspberry leaves. Another dahlia. Love this one. I just look at her. So pretty. Um, 
and then finally I'm going to be putting some sweet peas in look at those beautiful and once again I always use the stem um, unless I'm just doing posies which I'll just use those ones in but the stem um, they just last a lot longer so you'll get a good you can get five days out of a sweet pea when you cut it on a stem as opposed to sort of three two or three days like that so um, for people I think that's a better value for them if you're putting it into a bouquet so I've got a couple of those um, again I've gone for that sort of bluey purple colour because I just think that looks so nice with um, the yellows um, oh and look what else I had I've got the first of my china asters as well so that's the first ones of those I've had so I'm looking forward to using those um, although that one's not looking great maybe we'll just have the one so if you're wondering why I've got little things everywhere um, these are just for things that I might use at another time these roses were absolutely stunning yesterday um, but because it was sh quite short I didn't realize I hadn't pushed them down into the water real shame but that's fine they'll go in my bouquet for myself instead which I always say I'm gonna make and I never do but you know they'll, they'll make it smell nice in here so I've got the China Aster and then I've got some Cosmos because you can't be without Cosmos beautiful Cosmos purity this is and she's been amazing I mean look at the buds on it oh look at the buds there's so many and I pick them like that because I think they just look stunning with the buds on as well um just give something extra to the bouquet so let's put that in there and then I've got a few of these little scabious um I like these ones are my favorite um they just remind me of little strawberries I love them but they're a little bit short so I'm gonna pop them in this little vase for a minute broken so let's pop him in the vase as well pop him in there right I've got a few other bits and pieces here too um, I've got some snapdragons which I think will go quite nicely and some calendula nice bright yellow calendula so let's get going with this so my middle plant I would say will be a sunflower and I'm going am I going to I'm going to take this biggest leaf off actually she's got some holes in her so we're going to take that off we don't need the holes but I'm going to keep the two leaves here and I'm going to go in with the, the Rebecca but I'm going to bring it up a little bit higher um, and then maybe the snapdragon I'm just going to take some of these can see where the snaps are just starting to go over now so I'm just taking off some of this um, the, the spent flowers rosemary in just there look just to nestle in behind the flowers like this I'm thinking I might have to go out and get some mint as well actually not sure so there we go Christmas. go for the other one the long one what's length on that so long Don't be afraid to cut your cosmos as well long because it is cut and come again so the lower you cut down into the plant the longer obviously it will take to grow another flower but it will grow another one and that's quite good if you know you've got like a an event or something coming up that you want those flowers for if you cut them um you'll have younger flowers coming through at the time when you need them the most up a little bit so she So 
don't know. Let's get this dilemma. I don't know where to put things. Yeah. This comes to you in the end. It sometimes takes a bit longer than you think. I don't like that one. It's just a bit too short for this. What else have we got? I can put in. Oh, I've got another calendula. as well oh I tell you what I could put in is some of this phlox this is the annual phlox so this is um, creme caramel this one I'm just going to snip him off in one thing. smells lovely as well Let's You, you'll find that the leaves turn brown real quick as soon as you start um, cutting. So what I do is I generally take all the leaves off when I'm doing a few with you. See? I'm quite particular about how I like how I like them to look, um, especially as this is a subscription. So this lady is, you know, has one quite often, which is quite nice. I think it needs something here. Look, this just needs to be. Oh, what about one of these gorgeous pink scabious? brief for this one is seasonal blooms so anything basically seasonal means anything you've got blooming at that time in your garden um, and this is I mean this is a real part of exactly what I've got in the garden at the moment and you know what it's making me really happy <laughs> so pretty now, I really think flowers are one of those things that just makes everyone's life just a little bit more enjoyable um, especially with the years that we had this year and last it's definitely something that's kept me sane, that's for sure. I might actually put one of these darker scabious in as well. Yeah. Just because I think they're lovely. And then I think we're going to go in with maybe another verbena at the back here. So this is going to be wrapped as well. I'm not sure if she's giving it to somebody or she's keeping it for herself. I'm not actually sure this time. So. Okay, and then we're going to go in with the sweet peas. If they don't stick to each other, come here. There we go. Actually, I'm going to go for the big one. Big one. Let's go for the big one there. Don't know how to put it in. You don't want it to look silly. Do you know what? 
I might have to sacrifice this one. She's a bit water damaged anyway. So I'm going to get rid of that one. That's better. That'll sit nicer. I'm going to look silly, you know. lost at the back. One of my door has got room so lost at the back so I'm going to take that out and re-present it here. I don't want to lose any of the flowers at the back really. Too short. Smells so nice. Oh, I might as well put one of these in as well. Scabious ping pong. I like these. So they look quite nice. And so I'm going to shove that in through the middle just to give it a little bit down there. And time to wrap. Beautiful. Let's chop the buttons off. When I'm doing a bouquet for somebody that one of these I tend to try and leave them as long as possible I don't snip them short if I was doing like bridal black or anything I'd hold it short but these ones I try and keep them as long as possible obviously some of these are a bit shorter so you need to make sure you're not going to, you need to make sure it's still going to be in water basically but you don't know what sort of vase people are going to be putting these in so it's best to leave them as long as possible so that then they can trim them when they get back so I'm going to pop this little guy in the vase here. Okay. There we go. That one in there. Right, I'm going to go and get um, the paper to wrap them in. Okay, so I'm going to wrap these flowers now. And I thought I would just show you how I'm going to do it. Um, so, I've got... Um, a little bit like I did for my market bouquets but just a little bit um, I've put some green tissue paper in as well just on the triangle so instead of snipping up the middle like I would normally um, these a lot of the blooms are around the bottom so I don't want to squash them in any paper so um, I am just going to sort of lay them down onto this I'm just going to fold this up so it gives it a bit more of a colour um, like this um, just take these out. Just be careful not to dribble any water onto your tissue paper. Because I did that the other day and I was so annoyed with myself. Okay, so we're just going to lay them down like that, very gently. Just turn it slightly actually. There we go. Like that. And then I'm just going to bring this side up and this side up. don't want to damage any of the petals. That's it. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just coming in and under the petals. So what we don't want to do is damage. I'm just going to turn it ever so slightly again. Sometimes wrapping is the most difficult part of actually um, flower arranging, I think. Because you just don't, you've done all this hard work to make them look beautiful. And the last thing you want to do is ruin the flowers. And then all I'm going to do is staple right here. I'm just going to staple at the bottom here just to hold it together like that. So it's going to be kind of displayed like this, like that. Just gives it, it's like framing them really more than wrapping them just to make them look a bit special. Um, and see, I don't really like putting flowers on the bench either, but that's it. And then I'm just going to, around the bottom here, I'm just going to put some raffia, just to make it look 
really special. Edge up so it's raining it a bit more. There we go. So that's them wrapped. So this is just bringing it around and framing them. And I just think it gives them a little bit of a cut. It just makes them look lovely. Wrapping does make all the difference, even though it's really fiddly and sometimes you just wish you hadn't started. <laughs> um, and to be honest, sometimes a simple raffia around the bottom is just as special as wrapping them. Anyway, I better get on because I've got chickens to pick up and um, I don't want to be late. So this is going to wait here until the people come later this afternoon for it. Um, and that's why I keep them in water. So um, they'll be fresh and beautiful for when they come and pick them up later. But I need to dash now, get these chickens. And as I said, I'm going to take you with me. So let's get going. So this is where the hens are coming from. Fresh start for hens. This is a, a charity, an organisation that rehomes all sorts of ex-commercial for hens and ducks. And they do a fantastic job of rescuing hens. The ones I'm getting today are from a free range barn. So they're not in the same condition as some of the ones I've had before who have come from a barn or cage systems. So let's go and meet the girls. So I'm at the place where I'm collecting the chickens from. They're all looking a bit wet and bedraggled, to be honest. I'm just looking out the window at them. Um, but it's my turn, so I'm just going to move up and collect the chickens. I'm only getting two this time um, because I've already got 20 chickens at home. And yeah, let's go and pick them up. Okay, so here I am with the chickens. And there's loads of them here, all ready for their new homes. They're all looking a little bit wet, but that's just because it's raining here in Cornwall. Um, and they're in a really, really good state. Look at them. They've come from a lovely farm. So they're all from a free range um, farm. So these haven't been caught in a barn or anything. Hello. I mean, this one wants to come home with me. Hello, you. That's really friendly. Oh, well, maybe these are the two I'm taking home. Let's see if we can get them in the box. So we're home and this is one of my other rescues I had a couple of years ago. She's called Red. She's very interested to see some chickens that look the same as her, as are all the others. <laughs> it's looking a bit muddy and horrible here today. So wet at the moment in Cornwall. And what's going on? There we go. Hey, hello. <laughs> so Amber, my little mini me, will be home. She's up with, up with her grandparents at the moment. Um, and she'll be home in a couple of days. And these are a surprise for her. So uh, she's going to be so excited when she sees these guys. So I haven't told her I'm getting them. So it's going to be a really big surprise. But they're well cute. So what I do is I... Um, if you can see, she's disappeared over there. Um, I'll put some coloured rings on their legs just so that we know which one's which for the minute but they all have their own personalities anyway so eventually you know exactly which one's which but just so that we can identify them they're just in this little run just for a couple of days so they can get used to the other girls that already live here and to check that they haven't got any um yeah just to check that they haven't got any illnesses or anything so we'll keep them in here just for a couple of days just to keep them safe we don't want them fighting with any of the others. No, I don't want you fighting with any of the others. So 
that was exciting. I ended up with three, not the two I went for. A bit naughty. They are very cute, very cute. And they shush. Someone's not very happy that I've got new, new chickens. She'll get over it. Um, she's the boss here, that's why. She's like, hang on a minute. <laughs> three new chickens to annoy me. <laughs> so she'll get used to it. Okay, so that's the... Shush, I'm trying to talk. I don't know if you can see her over there. Um, but I'm very excited to show them to Amber. She's going to be over the moon. And I will video that for you and show you exactly what she um, does when they get back. She'll be so excited. Anyway, I better go. Got to make sure they've got enough food and water. And um, I also have people picking up bouquets. And I can't sit down here and watch chickens any longer. I have things to do. So I better go and do that. Bye bye. So I really hope you enjoyed my video today and you enjoyed coming to see the chickens. If anybody is interested in making a donation to Fresh Start for Hens or is interested in rescuing any hens, they are nationwide. So they um, go to certain farms all over the country and they pick up hens. Um, and there's loads of different places all over the country where you can get the hens from. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to put a link at the, in the description here um, to Fresh Start for Hens. And you can either make a donation to them or you can um, contact them and you should be able to get yourself some hens as well. Um, uh, that's it for today. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. That'd be amazing. It's really helpful for me. So I'm just going to wait for the lady to come for these beautiful flowers. And then that's me done for the day. Yay! So I'm probably just going to go and watch chickens. Because that's what I like doing. Anyway, see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Yeah, I have. They're in the air. I can see them. Got her? Who have you got? I have no idea what I should name her. Come on, bring her. Oh no! Hold her wings. Bring her to me. She's very pretty. She's very pretty. What do you want to call this one? I'm looking at her white feathers. I'm going to call her white feather. White feather? Because look at that little white She feather. has got white feathers. She must have got black feathers because they got so dirty and white peppers in. <laughs>